Voids in closed packing. In three-dimensional closed packing, the spheres of the second layer B is placed over the triangular voids of the first layer A. Now these triangular voids of the second layer form octahedral voids with the first layer and these triangular voids do not form octahedral voids with the first layer. If the spheres of the third layer is placed over the triangular voids of the second layer which do not form octahedral voids with the first layer, then it is called HCP structure or ABAB type pattern where the first and the third layer have the same alignment. On the other hand, if the spheres of the third layer is placed over the triangular voids that form octahedral voids with the first layer, then it is called FCC structure or ABCA type pattern where the third layer has a completely different alignment. In either case, the spheres of a particular layer is always kept directly over the depressions created by the triangular voids of a particular layer. Therefore, the void space between two adjacent layers is always the same, whether it be the void space between layers A and B or the void space between layers B and C. In order to study the void spaces in closed packing, we may take any one structure. In this case, we will take the FCC structure, which is the ABCA type pattern. Now, the void spaces associated with a single sphere depend on the layers adjacent to that sphere. That means if we consider a single sphere of the second layer B, then the void spaces surrounding that sphere involve spheres from adjacent layers A and C. Now let us count the number of tetrahedral arrangements possible involving this sphere. Yes, it is eight. Now each tetrahedral arrangement has a tetrahedral void. Since tetrahedral void involves four spheres, therefore one fourth of a tetrahedral void is shared by one single sphere. Therefore one sphere has eight into one fourth, which is equal to two tetrahedral voids. Now let us count the number of octahedral arrangements involving this sphere. Yes, it is six. Now each octahedral arrangement has an octahedral void involving six spheres. Therefore, one sixth of an octahedral void is shared by one single sphere. Therefore, one sphere has six into one by six, which is equal to one octahedral void. Radius of voids. Although the shape of the voids are not spherical by any means, they do have a radius. It is actually the radius of the largest sphere that exactly fit into the void space. We will now find the ratio of the radius of the void, Rv, is to the radius of the sphere, Rs, for tetrahedral void. The spheres are situated at the four corners of the regular tetrahedral. We join the center of the spheres by straight lines and get the shape. Each edge has a length equal to 2, into Rs. The tetrahedral void is at the center of the tetrahedron and so we have to find the center. From a corner we draw a line perpendicular to the opposite face. The length of this line is equal to the height h of the tetrahedron. Now going to the top V. This angle is 30 degrees because this line bisects the angle of this equilateral triangle. This side has a length equal to Rs. 
Therefore, this length is 2 divided by root 3 into Rs, which is equal to 1.155 into Rs. Now, in this right angle triangle, these two sides are known. So, this side is equal to 2 into root 2 divided by root 3 into Rs, which is equal to 1.633 into Rs, which is equal to the height h of the tetrahedron. The center of the tetrahedron lie on this line at a position such that it is equidistant from these two corners. Let this length be x, then this length is equal to 1.633 into Rs minus x. From this right angle to triangle, x can be calculated and is equal to root 3 divided by root 2 into Rs, which is equal to 1.225 into Rs. Now, this length is clearly equal to the sum Rs plus Rv, where Rv is the radius of the void. Therefore, Rv by Rs is equal to 0 0.225 for octahedral void. If we join the center of these four spheres, we get a square of length equal to 2 into Rs. The length of the diagonal of this square is equal to 2 into Rs plus 2 into Rv, where Rv is the radius of the void. Therefore, Rs plus Rv equal to 1.414 into Rs, or Rv by Rs equal to 0 0.414.